My name is Michael D, president of Hargrave, and I'm here with Dennis and Yanni, and we're gonna take you on board the 100 foot race pilot house, Sunny. Perfecting our engineering and craftsmanship over the last 60 years has led us to Sunny, our new gold standard, and I'd like to welcome you on board. We're starting here today on the Euro style swim platform. We have removable handrails and cleats that allow the tenders and the jet skis to be tied off to. This boat is also equipped with an electric door that lifts up for the access into the lazarette. So as we walk through the crew quarters to starboard, we go into the upper lower bunks. One of the things that's important to know is that the bunks are not 30 inches wide, they're 36 inches wide. And for that, we also got the closet is 36 inches wide compared to a normal 20 in a bunk room. Comes with a full stand-up shower stall, sink and head. To port, we have the second crew quarter, which is either a twin room or the nightstand can be removed and the berths can be pushed together to make a full-size bed. Forward of the crew bedrooms is a large sitting area to starboard. When we asked the crew what they were looking for down in the crew quarters, they asked for countertop space. So we were able in the crew quarters to make an over six foot granite countertop. As we're standing in the engine room here, you can see that we have over seven foot of headroom. The boat is equipped with Caterpillar C32, 1800 horsepower, giving her a cruise speed of 24 knots, cruise at 21. Coming up from our Euro transom, you'll see shore power access with Glendening Cable Masters, and also a freshwater wash down on the port side here. This leads us up to the aft deck. Looking aft is a nice teak table designed to easily handle eight people. Forward of the aft deck table is a drop down TV along with a full walk up bar with a refrigerator and an ice machine below. Directly across from the walk up bar is a molded in staircase which gives the crew access down into their accommodations and then also gives the guests access up to the flybridge which we will come back to later. This brings us into the salon. In the salon and throughout the boat, you're gonna find that it has a natural high gloss walnut. On the main deck, you have seven foot headroom with LED cantaloupe lighting and marble throughout. All the way aft the port is a walk up wet bar with glass storage above. In the living room area, we have an L-shaped couch, three club chairs that can accommodate up to 10. And then all the way aft on the starboard side is a 75 inch TV with the heart of the entertainment system below. Forward of the salon, we step into our formal dining. This space is centered around an engineered maple table with seating for eight. To port and starboard are mirrored cabinets with marble countertops designed to handle the dishware, the serving, and all the accessories for table setting. Located forward of the dining room table are two wine coolers and extra storage. Walking forward on the port side leads us to the guest accommodations. At the base of the staircase, after the foyer, is the master stateroom. The full beam master has a king size bed and a his and her closet. To starboard, you have the full bank of dressers, and the port of settee, and a luxurious ensuite head. This his and her ensuite is connected by a marble shower. Opposite of the master to port is the first VIP. To one side of the centerline VIP queen, we have a full sear line hanging closet. On the other side, you have the head with a full glass shower. To the starboard side, 
We have twin beds just under the porthole that can also be pushed together to make a queen. On the forward bulkhead, you have three floor to ceiling lockers. Two are hanging and the middle one is drawers and shelves. Also in the foyer in the master and guest accommodation is the second laundry center. And from here, we take the staircase back up and we continue forward. Passing the china rack and walking through the pocket door gives us access to the forward half of the main deck. Immediately to your left is the day head. And just forward of that is the pilot house, which we will come back to in a minute. Over the last three years, we've redesigned the galley for more storage space. We were able to accomplish this by raising the pilot house, thus giving us more storage in the hall. All the way forward is the Hargrave Signature Country Kitchen. One of the great things about this galley is the center aisle has a sink so that the stew can have her work for prep and cleanup, and the chef has their own cooking station by the oven. Along with the full-size refrigerator freezer, we also have the Sub-Zero drawers. Outboard of that is the under-counter oven, five-burner cooktop, trash compactor, and convection microwave oven. Just forward of the stainless double sink is the dishwasher. What makes the country kitchen so great is a step up settee and the walnut tabletop. Off from the galley is the forward VIP. Center line is the king size bed with hanging lockers to each side and an ensuite head. And from here, we jump up to the pilot house. Center line of the pilot house is the Stid leather captain's chair. Three master screens, which has the Noble Tech, the Furuno radar system on it, camera monitoring system, along with his autopilots and the rest of the controls needed to operate the vessel while underway. Aft in the pilot house is your second access up to the flybridge. All the way aft on the boat deck is a 2,000 pound davit that's able to launch the tender from the port side or from the transom. Forward on the boat deck is a Fire Magic gas grill, sun pad for three, hot tub for six, and a teak bar top with three padded bar stools. Starboard of the hot tub is the ice chest, sub-zero drawers, and an L-shaped banquette. Sitting at this settee, looking across the dining table, you see the second seating area. Just forward is a full-service bar with four seats, teak wood top, and a refrigerator and an ice machine. All the way forward on the port side is a custom built bench seat. Directly across from here is the upper helm station. From here we have access to every control and every system that we have in the pilot house. Finally, today's walkthrough on Sunny leads us to the bow. The bunny pad and the forward seating give this space a lounge feel. From the folks here at Hargrave and Denison Yachting, I hope you enjoyed your tour of the 100-foot Hargrave Sunny.